Hi guys, Jenna Bako here. This is my final reflective video for contemporary practice regarding the advocacy assignment. My assignment was about the opioid crisis and alternative medicine such as PT, OT, acupuncture, or chiropractic care. So what worked well for me was once I did find my topic, I felt like everything really fell into place after I had the time to research, and then I was able to easily find the bills, and laws that were already in place and that are currently in place to try to help push some of these laws through and to focus on the opioid epidemic. So I found to, that to be really smooth and it went really well. And next is what did not go as planned or as I had hoped. I was intimidated by the assignment, honestly, to get going. So I just kind of put it off to the last week and that just created more anxiety and intimidation because I haven't, you know, really been involved with the laws and things like that. So that was a little bit of a bumpy road just getting started. And what would I do differently if given another opportunity? So some steps I would take is I would research. So looking back, I would pick maybe three or four different topics just so I don't um, corner myself off into a research cat research area where I wasn't able to find the information because once I found once I went with the opioid crisis I was pretty set on that and wanted to make it work and thankfully I did find good information but I think next time just to have a more broad view and um, maybe find some research a little bit earlier and also have maybe three or four different topics to research and maybe look at federal and local because I was more focused on the local area. And my overall takeaway is to get more involved, even though it is intimidating. The two girls that joined us through Zoom, our live um, guest speakers, did explain how, you know, as students, as, you know, assistants, we're able to get involved. And once you get going on that, it really isn't as intimidating as it seems, and it is important to get involved in the occupational therapy community and also just advocate for what you feel is right. So that's my takeaway with this assignment. Thanks.